Hey, hey, Starfish and Fire back with another review. Now this time, as you can see, I'm doing a hot pepper review, and I have one of these little buddies. This is a peach ghost pepper. Ryan Hall sent this to me, soon to be Hall Peppers, LLC. Check it out next year. Early next year, they shall be kicking it. And uh, so, yeah, look at this, this very pretty little pepper here. Don't be fooled. It's a ghost pepper. It's going to be pretty hot, I imagine. And I don't have much in my gullet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. Now, I'm out here at the park today. And there's quite a bit of traffic, actually, because right here in the building next to me, they're doing uh, it's voting day, and there's people voting. Uh, should get too many interruptions. But we're going to get a go ahead and get a go on this. Like I said, this is a peach ghost pepper. So it's going to have some heat to it. But it's not going to be as brutal as a chocolate ghost pepper or uh, the full, you know, the red ghost pepper. Um, I do have some chocolates, by the way, we're going to do, uh, not today, but we will get into those as the week goes on. I've got some other seven pots, uh, Death Spiral, and uh, Carolina Reapers. So, yeah, let's give this a go. Let's see what's going on in the inside of this. Got my Emerson here. Yes, I'm cutting towards my hand. We're just going to cut into this a little bit. Just get it going here. There we go. And right down the center there. I want to see what the thing looks like. I know it's going to have a nice little... Ooh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that there, but... Yeah, definitely going to be a hot one. You can see here that cliff, also the... Um, placenta as it's called sometimes of the inside of the pepper uh, as you probably know it's not the seeds that are hot the seeds are connected to the plith the placenta um, so yeah let's let's see how hot this is starfish fire It's sweet up front, slightly bitter and floral at the, at the onset after the sweetness dissipates. <laughs> Definitely a bitter aftertaste when the heat's starting to kick in. Ooh. Ooh. Right, so the heat is starting to build. All around tongue burn. Started to get the hiccups. Ugh. It's not building. Flight, flight, or fight. Ah. Ah. Tears. Ah. Ah. It does have a good flavor. I don't care for the aftertaste, but at first it's sweet. All around the tongue burn. Back of the throat.
not overly floral, but definitely a bitter aftertaste. All right. So yeah, actually I think these would be good in cooking. The key is gonna be add, saute them up, add a little sugar, maybe a little brown sugar. Balance out the bitterness. Uh, tolerance down a little bit. We've been doing peppers all week, so I'm gonna work my way up to the seven pot. I have seven pot red, seven pot chocolate, and Death Spiral, <coughs> Carolina Reaper. A little numbness, a little tingliness. Ooh. But I'm hoping as the week goes on, I'm building up. Might even get a nice endorphin dump. I've been looking forward to one of those. Right now, I just got a preemptive one. All pain. Just slight tingleness, but no endorphin numb. No. It's all right. Good flavor, like I said. Again, Ryan Hall, thank you. It's a good burn. Mm. Tongue is still lit. Let's forget to bring towels or napkins. Oh, well. Uh. So quality burn. All right, so once again, this is Starfish of Fire. Enjoying this wonderful Indian summer day. Now it's gonna start getting cold as the week goes on. 7th of November, 2023. Ah. You guys got to get out there, get you some peppers, enjoy this burn because it's awesome. Oh yeah, loving life. All right, y'all. Once again, thank you. Starfish fire, and I'm out. Rock and roll.